So picking up where we left off, um, wrote our system of equations in augmented matrix form. We have so far eliminated the, well, just by accident, the y value and or the y value and the x value in the last equation. So what we were gunning for is trying to eliminate the x value in the second equation. So I can do that by just subtracting r1 and r2. So I'm going to do an r1 minus r2. Maybe just make each one of these things negative. Top equation stays the same. 1, 3, 3, 2. And when I subtract these, I get a 0, a 1, a 1, and another 1. Last one, 0, 0, 1, 3. All right, now I need to continue this on another slide because I'm about to run out of room. So 1, 3, 3, 2. 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, and 0, 0, 1, 3. Chick, 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 chick. Okay. So now I essentially have it in triangular form. And if that's all I had to do, I could stop. But I don't want to stop. I want to now get rid of this one. And I'm going to get rid of that one by combining it with the bottom equation. I can't combine it with the top equation because if I did any kind of addition on those two, I would introduce or reintroduce that x term. So the coefficients here are the same, so I'm just going to subtract them. It's going to be an r2 minus r3. So just switch these signs down here. Top equation stays the same. 1, 3, 3, 2. The new second equation becomes 0, 1, 0. And then negative 2. And then finally, keep that bottom equation. Oh, that wasn't a negative 3. It's a positive 3. OK, originally. OK. Next one I want to get rid of is the z value, the 3 in the top equation. Uh, again, I, I can't use the middle equation because it doesn't have a y value in it. I have to use the bottom equation. I just need to make them opposite coefficients. So I'm going to times the bottom one by a negative 3. So it's going to be um, r1 minus 3 r3. So multiplying these by 3 is going to be a negative 3 and negative 9. So my new top equation, a 1, a 3, that disappears, and then negative 7. And the second equation and the third equation stay the same, our rows. 0, 1, 0, negative 2, and 0, 0, 1, 3. Okay, the last thing I need to get rid of is that 3. And to get rid of that 3, I use the middle equation, the one that the only one that's left that has a y value in it. So to get rid of that, I just need to make that y value a negative 3. And that can be uh, a negative 3 r2 plus r1 in that top row. So let's go ahead and multiply these by negative 3. That becomes negative 3, a 0, and negative 3 times this makes this positive 6. So adding these equations together, I get 1, 0, 0, negative 1, 0, 1, oh, the original one, 0, 1, 0, negative 2, and 0, 0, 1, 3. So our final solution here for x, y, and z is negative 1, negative 2, and 3. The end.